We all know Link's Awakening was developed internally at Nintendo back when the Game Boy was the company's primary portable product, but what do you know about the studio behind the Switch remake? Well, I think it's time for us to take a look at Grezzo, ladies and gentlemen, so let's not waste another second and dive right into it. Founded in December of 2006, Grezzo is a Tokyo-based studio of about 62 people as of April 2018. Their name comes from the Italian phrase Diamante Grezzo, which effectively translates to a diamond in the rough, and helped define their brand identity. Not unlike a jeweler polishing their wares for the market, so too would Grezzo hone their skills into wonders through determination, resolve, and the synergy born of those shared values. The studio is humble though, citing that their name can also mean crude. They wanted to embrace the idea that they're a work in progress that needs to continue growing rather than have their identity be clouded in ego. It wouldn't be too hard for them to let their reputation go to their heads though. Their portfolio of clients includes some big names like Nintendo and Square Enix, but also some more obscure companies in the West like Fellows and the Furu Corporation. They've allegedly done business with the Akatsuki too, although where those works crop up is unclear, likely due to the nature of crediting on mobile projects. Anyway, Grezzo's ties to Square Enix shouldn't be too surprising since their CEO had previously served there back when it was still Square Co. He was involved in the first three Final Fantasies and a handful of mana games. He even had a hand in Mario Hoops 3 on 3 as a graphics supervisor. Grezzo's first official release came in 2010 under the name Line Attack Heroes. It was a beat em up published by Nintendo, and while unveiled as a retail project at E3 2009, it only saw a Japanese release for the Wii's WiiWare service. From there, development ramped up in 2011 with a remake of Orcarina of Time for the 3DS and a port of Four Swords Anniversary Collection for DSiWare. Street Pass Garden followed in 2013, and 2015 saw not only a remake of Majora's Mask, but also game design assistance on Furuyu's The Legend of Legacy and co-development on Triforce Heroes. The 3DS quickly became their platform of choice, and Nintendo ate up most of their publicly listed projects. Furuyu would see further design support from the studio in 2017's The Alliance Alive, but the rest of their shared releases came through dealings with the Big N. A remake of Luigi's Mansion came courtesy of Grezzo in 2018, but the previous year saw an original IP from the studio with Ever Oasis, no doubt inspired by the Mana series. It's a charming RPG with an Egyptian edge that appears to have been received well by critics and players alike. Unfortunately, sales weren't particularly high for the project, so diving into original properties might not be something the studio does too often. Where Grezzo goes from here remains to be seen, but with Link's Awakening marking their known debut on HD hardware in 2019, it's safe to say that not only did the transition appear to run smoothly for them, but the Switch will likely be home to many of their titles to come. Whatever they produce in the future though, I think it's pretty clear that Grezzo is made up of some serious legends. Hey there pal, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed hearing about Grezzo and if you learned anything. Did I miss any tidbits about the company that you particularly fancy? Be sure to share those too! Your thoughts are always welcome here.